Because if Mike Pence does the right thing, we win the election. The chair declares the joint session dissolved. Donald Trump, the President of the United States, and Mike Pence, his Vice President, have had a fallout for the past five days. Donald Trump actually called out Mike Pence, even on social media. And Mike Pence is going to have to come through for us. And if he doesn't, that will be a, a sad day for our country. 11 votes for Vice President. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote? Mr. Vice President, I, Paul Gosar from Arizona. For what Sports, purpose does the gentleman from Arizona write? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president. Now, let me explain that. Donald Trump, for the few days, felt that Mike Pence was now in the power to stand up and speak against the election result in a way that will favor the Republicans getting back to rule. But then, after all the weeks of going to court and trying to stand against the election results it has come out futile fast forwarding to the day of the violence towards the capital that day at the capital the house of representatives were certifying the election results as at that time donald trump was out of the capital meeting the pro-trump supporters and speaking to them theft and there's never been anything like this it's a pure theft in american history everybody knows it at the end of the day, the pro-Trump supporters were really motivated to push on to the Capitol and get violent as they protested. Five people died that day, many more hospitalized, a few of them arrested, and many more still being investigated and searched. Trump spoke against the protests and the violence afterwards, after he had motivated it all. Demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. A new administration will be inaugurated on January 20th. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. Thank you. God bless you. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 14 says something very, very profound. It says that the fury of a king sends messengers of death. Truly, how Donald Trump spoke really inspired a lot of them to get violent and were really going to cause death for some politicians. At the end of the day, people still died. So there were still messengers of death. A number of Trump supporters have been detained and charged over the US Capitol riots last week. One is Jacob Anthony Chansley, who goes by the name of Jake Angeli and is prominent in the conspiracy-promoting QAnon movement. He's accused of violent entry and disorderly conduct. Another of those detained is Richard Barnett from Arkansas, the man seen posing for photos in Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. Since Wednesday, more graphic details of the rioting have emerged, revealing the violence and brutality of the mob that stormed a seat of American political power. As I'm saying this, I know some of you are saying, but what about Black Lives Matter? The truth is, Black Lives Matter had a fact. Scripture says that we should not follow fables, but we should stick to our faith and grow strongly in it. If we are sticking to fables that the elections were read and we have no facts concerning it, then we are treading on the path of fables. And so, Twitter, and most social media platforms banned Donald Trump. So Donald Trump has been banned permanently. There are a lot of people that have started this whole conspiracy about Donald Trump being banned and how that is the beginning of restricting Christians on social media platforms and all that. This is a different issue altogether. And if these social media platforms have any idea or have any strategy to fight against Christians, I believe that we also have the wisdom to protest against that but Donald Trump's own is different it was an issue of character and not an issue of faith Trump and Pence have decided to continue together in governing the nation till the 20th of January 
And today we're just getting clear confirmation of that. Pence and Trump are going to continue to work together till the end of Trump's term. That means that the 25th Amendment is off the table, which means that if House Democrats or Democrats in general want to see Trump removed, their only option at this point is impeachment. Do not build on conspiracy theories to say that all this is an attack on your faith. Nobody has attacked your faith. No one. This is a character issue. Stay blessed, stay connected, and stay safe.